We're gonna get into it. Right on into Smashville. Three, two, one. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and keep his momentum going with his cloud. And Void coming out and very quickly pushing both of them to the side, giving uh, Nero a little bit of room to break, get some moon break going. Mm -hmm. Like, and Super interested in that, how they're actually going to play this one out, man. I, I feel like uh, with the way that Void and Nairo are playing, it's probably it's probably a little lucky that Tyrant and Poe were on the, Well, not lucky. I mean, it's just, you know, seeding. Seeding-wise, would have been a really interesting uh, winner's finals. See, but now we're in the grand finals where they have to win two sets uh, to go ahead and take it back. Don't want to count out Tyrant and Poe at all. I mean, obviously, these guys have uh, showed you that they can do it because uh. of where they are in uh, the, the set. But Jesus, very... Uh, very risky for him to go for that up B, knowing yeah. that the Lumen throw that finishing touch was around. Yeah. I, I think I would have just pulled back real rap. But this is first. Wow, the double, the double back throw. Uh, this is the first set of the first Ooh. first game and first set. So you know you can make take a couple risks before you decide. I right, may just pull back a little bit. Yeah, Freddy chopping down, getting the arrow for the stage spike, grabbing a quick stock himself. Still two on seventy six percent on his first stock, but uh, just like that, Tyrant dropping one and. Uh, getting knocked down so yeah Tyron uh well, Tyron went for that tornado not really sure why he was trying to recover with that fellow so like this isn't brawl and uh and then I guess Freddy was going to actually try to save him first with the Piggy Thunder but then in, then he realized he wasn't gonna do it so he looked back himself but Nairo already there with the punish just straight up spiking back down just not a really great position to be in and, and Starting to loosen up a little bit for a foe now, but earlier on, I mean, he was just in the middle of it, having to hold shield the whole way. Back here is going to get that first stock on the Nairo. Yeah, uh, Void was looking for the fourth throw right there, but I think he got hit out of it, and so Nairo basically threw out the uh, finishing touch, thus getting himself punished by that back air from foe. Oh, 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 so unfortunate. I mean, he had to recover right there, though, so yeah. that could have definitely got them back into the lead right here, or at least back on the good races, but just like that, looks like first game might uh, be going to the blue team. And it looked uh, like... That's synergy, man. Yeah, it looked like Fo unfortunately, did uh, grab Tyrant uh, with that back air. Yeah. Or back throw. Uh, so both of them dropping that uh, stock age. So plus sitting here with just one left, having to get through uh, three stocks here with uh, Nairo in limit break. And I'm just looking probably just going to juggle around a little bit if they can. Uh, grab doing all the pummels that he can right there to try to uh, see if he can hit Void with it as well. Void uh, holding shield. And to get a little bit of a punish, but nothing too crazy, and yeah, that should be it. Be yeah. Enough, yeah. Beautiful stuff right there uh, from Blue Team yet again. Uh, Void Naira definitely been stepping up since they've been on the screen so far. Tyrant and uh, Foe kind of talking it out, saying, probably telling you know a couple of mistakes that they made. Hey man, don't do this when I'm around here or something like that. Or, hey man, when I do this throw, try to hit him with this. You know. Yeah. Team synergy stuff, man. Right, just like that, man, we're out game uh, two right here. That was the first set. And Fo looking at Sims coming there with his out throw in the neutral there. Not able to continue it on, but had he done it, he would have got uh, a little bit more uh, percentage, if not the stock. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, I mean, like, like with that being all, all said and whatnot, like, I, I still do believe that Tyrant Fo could potentially take this. I think you just have to develop a game plan of who to take out first. Uh, and there it is once again. Going for the up B, but uh, looking like uh, even Nairo has really good DI. Oh, or, or he's just not resisting that first hit right. Nice stuff right there by Nairo. Yet again, always ready to go ahead and finish that touch. Yeah. And I imagine the idea is probably to try to work on oh. Nairo the best they can. Oh, did he really get him with that play thing? Okay. okay. <laughs> now with the other air, so he can they're going to get him back. Probably getting a little bit of redemption there, but. Uh, he really hit that man with a blade beam from, all, from deep. Oh, that's going to oh. be a yeah. <laughs> Fell return with a bit of his own. But yeah, I think they're going to. Try to focus uh, Nairo, even though they really shouldn't, because it letting Void just sneak in the uh, up smash tippers and. I mean, it's really hard stuff. to choose who you want to yeah. focus on this team. It's yeah, for that exactly. Both of them are killers, so. Like you know, oh, oh that fuck. was beautiful. Both of them, it's not even both of them killers. It's, just, it's really hard to focus on Sheik because she's so elusive. And then if you just focus on Nairo, well then Sheik's gonna be out here, you know, getting all this punish damage for you guys. Focus on him, and then Nairo gets the opportunity to get a uh, extra stocks because of share stocking because of Sheik just. You know, stock tanking. Right. And so. Nairo's shown that he's able to hold on to a lot of percentage for yeah. you guys as well. So Void right now sitting 138% on his uh, first stock. 
Doing some cool tricks there just to delay the inevitable, put him in 2v1, let him come back for free. And Nairo capitalizing with that, with a uh, limit broke side B. Nice. Oh, so meaty. Actually getting Void with it, but. Yeah, I mean, like, I saw what he free. wanted to do, but like. Yeah. Void, unfortunately, in the wrong place at the wrong time. Okay. That's cool. So right now, uh, green team once again down by uh, a couple stocks. Uh, but the percentage isn't, isn't too, too non manageable right now. I mean, like, I feel like they get to kind of push uh, Nyro off. Well, not, not that he has limit. Maybe not. They need, to, they need to push him off, though. And oh, that the, was cute. Yeah, so I went nice for the back throw there and had all set up uh, to get both of them with the up air. Still not getting that yet. Again, he keeps missing that second hit. I mean, Nyro, like, you know, living by the skin of his teeth every time. Oh, just F smash. Still not quite enough. A little too far back to get him on the side there. Yep. Oh. Yep. Another one. Another cl clean finish to touch right here. And that's where that's where Cloud will always as excel in uh, teams. I mean, like, as long as he has limit, there's the potential of someone losing stock real early. Yeah. And Fo taking advantage of that to at least get the punish with the back throw uh, to bring it down to three stocks. 102% with two sitting for Void. Uh, but Fo by himself at 111%. Uh, I don't know if he can get a back throw here. Well, if he can even get on stage. Now uh, there was a little break, I imagine. Yeah, uh, he was expecting a jump. Okay. Did not get it. I mean, it was a decent idea to read right there. Yeah. A lot of people would have jumped in that situation. Right. And I was thinking maybe he'd want to just chill there, turn the other way, and try to get a side B and try to cover two options. Um, but going for the extra swag there, I mean, you got the ability to do it. Might yeah. As well. So, man, now uh, in the first set of grand finals, Void and Nairo are up 2 0. Or if they win this next game, we get a bracket reset, and then we will see if they can do it again, or is. Or is this the three games that uh, Foe and Tyrant needed to lose to move on and figure out how to win? So we'll see. Yeah, right now they're talking out really well. Might be thinking about uh, possibly some character swaps or where they want to go next. Not going to swap any characters. Well, here we are. Nah, just kidding. And right back on the Smashville. Yep, just going ahead and run it right back. I mean, not really much they need to change right here. Just uh, develop a game plan. And that's all you can really do right now. And, like, the game plan is going to be – there's going to be holes in the game plan, obviously. Oh, okay. Oh. It's just, like, holes in that uh, idea. But, like, there's going to be holes in the game plan, obviously, because, as we were pointing out in the last game, this is really hard tactics to really just kind of get around. Like, you can't just focus on one person and think it's going to be okay because it doesn't work like that. Like, both the, both the players on this team are strong. Yeah. Nairo earlier putting so much pressure there on Foe, uh, trying to get him on, on uh, underneath, but uh, was out of position. Unfortunately, going to be dropping that stock to SD. A lot of stuff by Nairo, though. A little bit of breathing with Green Team. Uh, when uh, Tyrant went for the up up, up air or up up throw, he didn't uh, try to challenge it on the way down. A lot of people, uh, we saw that earlier in a set where Tyrant actually got a double kill on his partner and uh, SS because uh, they tried to challenge that. So yeah. don't challenge it. Just let it rock and then uh, punish the landing from Meta Knight. Anyway. And right now, Foe doing Foe stuff, trying to get something started here. Looking for a couple of grabs to get a chain started for some percent. Nice. And Nyro just breaking up the whole party with that Clem Hazard. And Clem Hazard, and then uh, did the down, uh, or the second hit of it too, so it can land with a little bit of a hitbox as well. So here we go. Nice F smash right there from Tyrant. Over here trying to help his partner back out, but uh, instead ends up harming his partner. Yeah, so Foe looking to get the PK Thunder too. Boy getting around that with the air dodge and then getting the punish, and then uh, everybody took at least one hit on Foe there. And he's coming from low, but did manage to get it, and it looked like Nairo was trying to uh, challenge it, dropping down, but instead all he did was drop down into that hitbox yeah. and lost his stock for it. Now we got an even game right now between them. Uh, you know, got two double. Oh, all right, they, they got two to stock tanks between Meta Knight and uh, Sheik, but it's just who's gonna lose that stock first? And it happens to be Meta Knight trying to go down there and punish it with the invincibility of Up B. Gonna get it back. Is he gonna be able to make this? He does. Boy, still adding that extra damage. Yeah, but still looking fresh. So Nairo said, "Hey, man, I'm gonna win right. Come look at me. Uh, throw side be the wrong way, uh, but gave Void the opportunity to get back on stage and into position." And just chain together there, following it, finishing up with that up air, very nearly getting that stuck on the on the foe. Oh, we have folks going to drop to that yeah. down smash though. And the switch 
uh, or the stock tank right there. Yep. Uh, as Tyrant was definitely stock tanking, so you know, that's what you expected to do. But I guess Bo is going to be able to use the stock to his advantage. About to find out. There's a down throw. Nothing off of that. See, that's what I'm saying. Like you can see the the difference in team chemistry between the blue and green team right now. Where had that been a down throw from like Void or Nairo, the other person would have definitely came through yeah. with a follow up. So I mean, Tyrant Foe got to work on the team teamwork just a little bit. At the same time, though, I'm pretty sure these two don't team that much. So. You know, don't expect uh, a crazy amount. I mean, I wouldn't think that Void and Nairo seems a lot too, but I mean, he was at his house for a long period of time, so. You learn some things when you stay with someone. Absolutely. And right now, Nairo again, choosing to just uh, go for percentage. Not bothering to charge limit break just yet. Uh, everybody, though, on their last stock. Uh, but now, Freddy by himself got a good fair chain there. Very nearly getting uh, Nairo out of the picture, which would give him a nice. fair chance. But nice. yeah, being stuck there, waiting for your up B to loop back around. Gave an opportunity to uh, absolutely bury him. And there was not, wasn't, wasn't much he was going to be able to get no. uh, to do getting away from that. So, yeah, that was the first set right there. Void and Nairo cleaning that up with a quick 3-0. Now we're going to go ahead and set two. We're zooming in on right now on Tyrant and, and uh, Foe seeing what they can talk about, what they can do. It's pretty much just Foe telling Tyrant stuff. Like, I feel like Tyrant didn't really have an input of what's going on right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's kind of yeah. like, yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, whatever, man. <laughs> So decisions haven't been made. No characters have been swapped. Now we back to yeah. Smashville. We're still running back to Smashville. So set two. Both of them are losers, uh, losers right now. Obviously because uh, the bracket just got reset. So Tyrant, Fo, still trying to figure out a way to get past this team of uh, Cloud Sheep. Uh, and I mean, they got a little closer to that game. But still, I mean, it's still pretty dominant in, uh, in Blue Team's favor. Yeah, they had a little bit of help uh, with Nairo chopping that early stock when he was messing around trying to chase... Uh, Follow around, but yeah. uh, can't count on that happening every time. Yeah. And right now, Fo just taking every up air. Okay, big damage to the shield right there. Fo actually not getting the punish. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, but very nice stuff there. Comes uh, with the quick up air to go ahead and get the stock. Oh, nice stuff right there. Nice coverage from Fo. Uh, Boy went off stage to try to, you know, pressure. Uh, the Mennonite or Tyrant, and then Fo decided to throw that Peek of Thunder and hit him, get a little bit of damage right there. And, uh, get oh no! Oh! I was gonna say big props to Tyrant for finally getting the second hit of the up B for that stock, but very unfortunately there gets knocked right into Ness's uh, PK Thunder 2, losing that stock, and then Fo just turning around losing his as well. So two quick drops there, very well evenly, uh, or gets us back to even. Yeah. Here we go. All right, trying to recover right here. Oh, nope, he's going to cross slash it and yeah. did not even get the tech. Very nice cross slash coming in from uh, Naira right there. Going way off stage. Now, you know, just just go ahead and, and not, don't respect, um, don't respect Ness when he's off stage when you got limit bases. What are you saying? Yeah. He was like, yeah, I, you know, I'll even go behind you where the PK Thunder is going and still chop through that. Yeah, and I mean, at that option, if he if he manages to absorb PK Thunder, you know, he's got the stock that way and he can Clem Hazard back up. Or if he's not going to get hit by it, he can go ahead and do what he did, go for the cross slash, get the extra boost from that to go ahead and recover anyway. And I a second limit break cross slash is going to get the last stock. All right. I still think that's the funniest throw in the game. Like, like the thing about Meta Knight's throw is like the actual throw does not kill, but if anyone's under you, they will die to that. Like, yeah. <laughs> like Void died when, uh, when Nairo was the one who was getting thrown. And... Uh Fogan have to figure something out here to hopefully at least grab a stock yep. or two to make himself feel better. But no, the uh, throw into finishing touch in the air is going to be enough. Finishing uh, touch with it. Both these guys just looking for a little bit of momentum to get something started here. But Nairo able to pretty much shut it down anytime they start to get something they started. They really don't even have like a. They're not talking anymore. It's just like this is play it out, man. Because I mean, there's not really much. I, I feel like there's not really much they can say at this point in time. Just do the right things that have probably been said before in the sets that they've already been speaking. You know. Yeah. I've, like, I think you are four games in now. Uh, you guys still not figured out what to do. And now we're getting some character switching as well, which, you know, could possibly help. But uh, as I always say, man, Diddy Kong being one of those characters that everyone's probably learned how to play pretty early on because of him being the best character in the game. Sometimes might not be the best switch. And uh, weirdly enough, at the beginning of this game, Foe actually just hit Tyrant. Just like straight up down smash and hit him. I guess he was expecting... Uh, he did, he did a reverse down smash, so I guess he was expecting Void to run in on him, but Void did not do anything. He's chilling. 
Yeah, but I don't mind the swap here either, considering the fact that they weren't ever really able to get some kind of chemistry started, yeah. together, right? So it's not like uh, they got to start from scratch figuring out what each other is doing. Well, they, they do anyway, but they never really got started, unfortunately. Okay. Nairo, uh... Right, trying to top him up right to... there, but he managed to get out of that yeah. situation. Landed on stage right there, okay. Actually, good stuff from uh, Foe there, able to shield through all of that and get the punish with the grab. And, oh, wow, that was, that was smart. so yeah, smart, he yeah. waited, let him go for the up air, <laughs> actually hit Void with it, and then uh, Foe got the hit in of his own. And yeah, that was lips, right? yeah. yeah, I'm going to recover to the platform, smart. And Foe is just walking the dog all over this platform right now. So we got the, we got the limit back on deck. Looking and for all. him to air dodge through him, but uh, Foe actually staying on the same side and does get the stock just as well. So, I mean, as as you said, man, the switch might pay off. We'll see. Yeah, There's back a back throw. Yeah. Yeah. So just like that, still sitting on five sides. Foe has not dropped one yet. Sitting at only 88%. Yeah, I mean, and with no limit on the deck, yeah. he, on deck right now, he's pretty much uh, at a safe. He was at a safe percent at least. Okay. Make it back on stage, yeah. Didn't happen. Oh. Void chasing him up there just as well, trying to get a bounce of fish for that extra damage. Did not get it. And nice stuff right there by Foe. Covering his partner as he tries to land a shield stab, though. Holding that shield way too long, and uh, Nairo knew that and just threw it out. So yeah. one of these is going to hit. Yeah, he went for the dash and saw that uh, Foe, or knew that Foe was going to start shielding because obviously that side beast coming. And uh, delayed it just enough that he was able to get the stock. And was able to oh. stuff that PK Thunder the first time. Oh, good save. Time. Hey, yeah, Tyron coming back with the save off that up air. Covering high. Not really where he needed to recover right there. And Tyron was not in position to try to save him at all, though. So, unfortunate. Trying to get him with the climb hazard on the other side. And Limit Climb Hazard did knock him away. But got him with the second one up onto the platform. So, Nairo is going to be safe. Nairo is out here scrapping off stage. Oh, he tried to drift back to avoid the down smash, and he did drift back enough, but just too far for him to actually uh, manage to make it back on the ledge for all this stuff. So good stuff right there for uh, Foe, putting that pressure on the ledge to even force him to do that. Yep. And, I mean, just like this, man, they were at, they actually had a pretty decent lead earlier, and now uh, they're off that lead, managed to make it back. Both of them off stage. Now, now this is times where I say they need to really decide who's going to be off stage right now. Because like, that was a situation where someone could have hit Void away, and then uh, set up for a, you know, a ledge prompt situation where they could have forced Nairo to roll on and got a hard punish on it. Absolutely. Either way, Nairo once again getting another stock over here. Oh, come on. Oh, I don't <laughs> Okay. I don't, I don't know what that was supposed to leave. That didn't look hot, though. Well, the first part of it was pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so dash attacks that. Yeah, it's not letting him get back for free. And it said, you're definitely not coming straight up, so he actually goes straight toward the ledge right there. Oh! And Tyrant coming through. Come yeah. on, man. Come on, you, you, you can't, you're just making stuff up now. <laughs> you're just making stuff up right now. Like, the needle from deep into the, uh, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm already climb hazard down. Like, that was that was on Void. Like, Nairo was already going to do that regardless. But right. Void was like, well, let me just go ahead and make sure that actually finishes. Yes. <laughs> Not only are you going to be able to come back, but yeah. Exactly. So, so uh, Tyra, going to go ahead and swap back to Midnight Knight. Uh, obviously, feeling that the uh, Diddy Kong change did not benefit them at all. Yeah, I mean, I, honestly, though, I feel like they... They were a little closer, uh, in my opinion, but that was from the entire set. Like, the first set did not look that great. They were the first game of this set looked decent. Yeah. And then he switched, you know, pulled out the Diddy, did not work out, but it was a lot closer than what I was expecting. And now we're back with the main team on Lilat. Uh, so maybe maybe a stage choice or a stage switch right here might benefit them uh, some way, but we will see. And right now, again, Foe managing to get the uh, down smash there and is uh, sucking Void around, but does not get him with the uh, PK Thunder there. Tyrant looking just to get back on stage as soon as he does, is immediately juggled back around and having to recover from on high. He himself, if he can just find himself in the neutral under a platform or something like that, he can definitely uh, get some work done. But between that throw and that up B, he managed to get quite a bit of work done getting yeah. Void's first stock. Okay. So, seeing how, how this is going to work out for them right now, it seems like it worked out a, a decent bit in their favor. You know, they got the first stock and a, some really high damage on and now stock on uh, my, Nairo. So, it's looking good for the green team. Maybe this is the, what they needed, you know, just a little refresher, a new stage to work with. Yeah, the new stage kind of helping them out. 
It could, be, it could be the platform layout, man. It could be, but I'm also thinking the fact that uh, right now, uh, the fact that uh, Tyron has switched to pretty much using that throw exclusively is due to the fact that they find that they're fighting most of their uh, battles, at least, or when they're throwing their hits around, is at short hop range, a little bit in the air. So if he could throw them into that nice. position again with the, with the up B. So he's two for two right now with those. Three nice for again. three with the quick happy birthday. Okay, and so he went for the <laughs> hardest save I've ever seen. Like, I actually kind of had to do that because if he would have up him, he probably would have killed him. Right. So uh, he went for the, yo, you better tech this save. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That down smash is going to send him all the way across the stage to the other side and get that stock. Yeah, he might he actually be too far. Yeah, he is too far. Yeah. Double neutral layer pushing him just too far away from that and immediately losing that stock. Got a very low percentage, so unfortunate. But it looks like Blue Team has got themselves back into this game now. If they could do that again, I mean, you would make this an even game. By far. And the team combo's coming out. Oh! oh! And he got on the ground, but not enough to finish. Good DI right there from Tyron. He was on the ground, though. And the spike. Why oh. did Freddy... I, why did he challenge it? I'm not sure why Freddy went out to challenge that coming out. I think, really I think he was to. actually too far from the ledge. He would have just died. Yeah. Oh, man. That is unfortunate right there. Went for the challenge. A little off right there, but... Either way, going for the side B. Does not get it with the stage spike on the other side with the neutral air. What a way to come back from the blue team. Is he gonna try to save his man? Uh, he should be able to get back. Yeah, okay. He's gonna be all right there. And then, yeah. Is that is that it? That. He's, he's going down. There. He's going down. There. Yeah. He's oh. just short. Yeah. My God. Stage tip the other way. Had it been down, he would have been fine. That was the most explosive comeback I've ever seen. Like literally everything that happened between the time they got on their last stock was all amazing. That was so unfortunate. It was it was looking so good for the green team. I thought they were gonna get on the board. You know, they they got a stage that was working for him. He was getting a lot of upbeat kills right there. It was yeah. working out for him. And he just. Nope. And it was one of those things where Timer got uh, three or four of those stocks. And uh, as soon as that happened, you know, they were able to get some uh, uh, kills on a foe that maybe he shouldn't have really lost his stocks to. Uh, but after that, they were able to definitely focus down Tyron a bit more and get some either one or two stocks onto him to the point where uh, they had to start making some rash decisions. Yeah, I know. Those decisions uh, really didn't pay off for him. I, honestly, I, I really do feel like the turning point of that last bat, uh, match was Freddie trying to cover, cover that. Clem, uh, Clem has it. He could have aired out through it. I'm, I'm, I'm completely sure Nairo is too far from the ledge uh, to grab it with the, with the way that he did it. So he yeah. was going to die. But he traded. That trade worked out in his favor. And then after that, he just wrecked for the rest of the game. So, like, dang, man. Good stuff. right? Once again, Nairo won both tournaments. Yep. Uh, and then Void got second in dubs and first – or second in uh, singles, singles and yep. first in dubs. So, you know, good job. These guys will be walking away with a lot. Definitely putting on, showing you that they are top players. But that's going to be it for us. Yeah. You know, Level Up Expo here at the Cashman Center. Over here in Vegas, it was a fun tournament, man. Uh, glad we got to commentate together for Absolutely. the first time. Absolutely. Um, fantastic.